Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Thursday. It is March 4th. And it is, we're, su- we're still in the second week of, uh, the second week of Lent. But today we celebrate an, an optional memorial, a commemoration of St. Casimir, um, a Polish king from the uh, 14, I think 1458, uh, I believe is the date of his, uh, his passing, his death. So friends, oh, and just as, a, as an FYI, for the, um, for the hymn today, uh, we'll be singing the, the third and fourth verse of Lord Who Throughout These Forty Days. All right, friends, let us begin our morning prayer with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down in worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when in Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray. And they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ the Lord, who for our sake endured temptation and suffering. As you did, as you did hunger and did thirst, so teach us, gracious Lord, to die to self and so to live by your most holy word. Abide with us that through this life of suffering and pain, an Easter of unending joy, we may at last attain. Stir up your mighty power, Lord. Come to our aid. O shepherd of Israel, hear us. You who lead Joseph's flock, shine forth from your cherubim throne. Upon Ephraim, Benjamin, Manasseh, O Lord, rouse up your might. O Lord, come to our help. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. Lord God of hosts, how long will you frown on your people's plea? You have fed them with tears for their bread, and abundance of tears for their drink. You have made us the taunt of our neighbors. Our enemies laugh us to scorn. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt. To plant it, you drove out the nations. Before it, you cleared the ground. It took root and spread throughout the land. The mountains were covered with its shadow. The cedars of God with its boughs. It stretched out its branches to the sea. To the great river, it stretched out its shoots. Then why have you broken down its walls? It is plucked by all who pass by. It is ravaged by the boar of the forest, devoured by the beasts of the field. God of hosts, turn again, we implore you. Look down from heaven and see. Visit this vine and protect it, the vine your right hand has planted. Men have burnt it with fire and destroyed it. May they perish at the frown of your face. May your hand be on the man you have chosen, the man you have given your strength, and we shall never forsake you again. Give us life that we may call upon your name. 
God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord God, eternal shepherd, you so tend the vineyard you planted that now it extends its branches even to the furthest coast. Look down, upon, look down on your church and come to us. Help us remain in your Son as branches on the vine, that planted firmly in your love, we may testify before the whole world to your great power, working everywhere. Stir up your mighty power, Lord. Come to our aid. The Lord has worked marvels for us. Make it known to the ends of the world. I give you thanks, O Lord, though you have been angry with me. Your anger has abated, and you have consoled me. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. With, with joy you will draw water from the fount, at the fountain of salvation, and say on that day, Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim his name. Among the nations make known his deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name. Sing to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exaltation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has worked marvels for us. Make it known to the ends of the world. Ring out your joy to God our strength. Ring out your joy to God our strength. Shout in triumph to the God of Jacob. Raise a song and sound the timbrel, the sweet-sounding harp and the lute. Blow the trumpet at the new moon, when the moon is full on our feast. For this is Israel's law, a command of the God of Jacob. He imposed it as a rule on Joseph, when he went out against the land of Egypt. A voice I did not know said to me, I freed your shoulder from the burden. Your hands were freed from the load. You called in distress, and I saved you. I answered concealed in the storm cloud. At the waters of Meribah I tested you. Listen, my people, to my warning. O Israel, if only you would heed. Let there be no foreign god among you, no worship of an alien god. I am the Lord your God, who brought you from the land of Egypt. Open wide your mouth, and I will fill it. But my people did not heed my voice, and Israel would not obey. So I left them in their stubbornness of heart to follow their own designs. Oh, that my people would heed me, that Israel would walk in my ways. At once I would subdue their foes, turn my hand against their enemies. The Lord's enemies would cringe at their feet, and their subjection would last forever. But Israel I would feed with finest wheat, and fill them with honey from the rock. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Lord God, open our mouths to proclaim your glory. Help us to leave sin behind and to rejoice in professing your name. Ring out your joy to God our strength. A reading from 1 Kings. We are your people, O Lord, and your inheritance. Thus may your eyes be open to the petition of your servant and to the petition of your people Israel. Hear us whenever we call upon you, because you have set us apart from all the peoples of the earth for your inheritance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare, from those who would trap me with lying words 
and from the hunter's snare. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. Son, remember the good things you received in your lifetime, and the bad things Lazarus received in his. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Son, remember the good things you received in your lifetime and the bad things Lazarus received in his. God has revealed himself in Christ. Let us praise his goodness and ask him from our hearts, Remember us, Lord, for we are your children. Teach us to enter more deeply into the mystery of the church, that it may be more effective for ourselves and for the world as the sacrament of salvation. Remember us, Lord, for we are your children. Lover of mankind, inspire us to work for human progress, seeking to spread your kingdom in all we do. Remember us, Lord, for we are your children. May our hearts thirst for Christ, the fountain of living water. Remember us, Lord, for we are your children. Forgive us our sins and direct our steps into the way of justice and sincerity. Remember us, Lord, for we are your children. Gathering these prayers, these petitions into one, calling to mind also each of those people that we've promised to pray for, each of those people who have asked for our prayers. We lift them all up, offering them to the Lord using those sacred words that Jesus himself gave to us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God of love, bring us back to you. Send your Spirit to make us strong in faith, and active in good works. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Friends, thank you for joining me for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours on this Thursday morning. Um, it is good for us to be here virtually, to pray together. And on that, uh, I've mentioned this a uh, couple times earlier this week, but, you know, throughout today, there will be between, I don't know, 80 to 100 people uh, who will pray this morning prayer uh, in this virtual together format. How amazing would it be if... 
if all of us were praying for one another, people that you know, people that you don't know, um, whether that's uh, via this live stream on Facebook, whether that is via YouTube as I upload it there in just uh, a few minutes, but praying for one another, um, I promise there's there whatever you're whatever you're going to go through today, whatever you're going to encounter, somebody else might be encountering that same thing, um, that same joy, that same sorrow. And so it would be good for us to pray for one another. All right, friends, whether you are out and about today, whether you are staying in, remember to be safe today, remember to be healthy today, but above all, remember to be holy today, to live this holy season of Lent. All right, may God be praised in you, may God be praised through you, and I do hope that you have a beautiful day today.